On today's episode of In The Know, we'll explore QuickBooks on the Intuit platform. The new UI makes it easier to do your most critical jobs all in one place. Data flows between tools, enabling one-time data entry and intelligent insights about your clients. Hey, Pro Advisors, it's Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know, where you get exclusive access to demos of Intuit product enhancements by the leaders who built them. Let's jump right in with Rodrigo for a look at QuickBooks on the new Intuit platform. Rodrigo, welcome. Thank you, Jacqueline, for having me on the show. What an honor. All right, let's get started. Uh, so today I get the honor of representing the work of many who wake up every day to help you help your clients. Uh, so I'm going to get started. So what is QuickBooks on the Intuit platform? Um, so over the years, we've been talking to our small businesses and our beloved accountants, and we've heard many, many times that running a business is hard. One of the reasons why it's hard is because you're trying to juggle many, many applications to run your entire business. And that creates a lot of friction and a lot of pain for everyone involved. We know that you as our accountants, you're more than just a financial advisor, more than just an accounting expert, you're their strongest partner and you help them run their entire business. And we at QuickBooks share that mission and we wanted to reimagine our experience so that that becomes a reality in the product as well. Along your side, we want to help small businesses run their entire business in one place. And to do so, we just introduced a new version of the QuickBooks experience that is focused around apps based on the core jobs that small businesses need to do to run their entire business in one place. So now I'm going to walk you through what it is, what it looks like, and how to get to experience this, this, this new version of QuickBooks. So first, who is it for? So it's for all QBO customers. How can you get into it as an accountant? So step one, go into QBOA. Step two, go to a client's books. And then from the settings fly out, you can opt in. And that's the same way in which you can opt out as well if right now it's not the right time for your firm. This experience went live on July 1st and is currently only available in the US and will soon be rolling out to more geographies across the world. All right, so with that, let me go straight into the experience. So many of you have already experienced this when you go into QuickBooks, this is what the new layout looks like. And I'm gonna walk you through where to find the common tools that you use every day. So first, how to get into the experience. So today, if you go to QBOA, you can go into a client's books from the client switcher. And from there, you go into the settings flyout, which is the little gear icon on the top right. And you're gonna see a message there to opt into the new version of QuickBooks. And that's where you can switch in and you can also switch out, you're in control. So let's say you came in. So now you see our beautiful new homepage where you see an app carousel at the top where we're surfacing all of the key jobs or centers that we used to have in QuickBooks now framed as apps. So customers can manage their customer relationships in the customer hub their money in and sales and get paid, their core accounting as always, and more. So that's the job of the app carousel at the top. Whenever you click into each of the apps, you go straight into the experience to be focused on that job. Now, right beneath it, you have our new business feed. This is where all of the work that AI and agents in QuickBooks get surfaced for your attention so that you can review, approve, and take action from here. So the most relevant things that you need to know come front and center every day whenever you log in. Beneath it, you have our shortcuts or like quick action buttons that you can customize for those key things that you like to do every time you log in. They're always just a click away. Right beneath is the area of your business at a glance. And this is where you have all of the widgets um, to help you keep a bird's eye view of how your business is doing, how your small business's business is. You can customize and select the right widgets for you and for your client. Just hit on the customized dashboard, you can reorder, resize, and select which widgets you wanna see so that you tailor this experience to be perfect just for you. Now I'm gonna walk you through the new left bar. At the very top of the list is Global Create. It's the same experience that you're used to in the QBO Classic view but now in a different uh, visual representation. But when you click or hover over it, you get to see what you're used to already. So all of the actions that you can perform throughout all of your apps get surfaces here just in one click. 
right after is bookmarks. So whenever you're in a page, you can click into bookmarks and select bookmark current page. And you have your favorite pages always with quick access. Works very similar to how it works in Classic, but this is the new location for it. Next, you can click into the business feed and get into an immersive view and go all in on what AI is doing for you and what needs your attention. The content that you see here is the same as the widget in the homepage, but here you go much deeper and there's much more detail. Right next to it is a report section, um, which we know is one of the most heavily used experiences by accountants. So now we're surfacing it even higher in the information architecture so that you have quick access to it. And then you have the section on my apps. So this is where all of the apps that I mentioned, the app carousel, that's where you can dig deep into each of them. So when you click in, you have all of your pages. As an example, you see the accounting app on the right where you can access your bank transactions, your receipts, you can reconcile your chart of accounts, et cetera, et cetera. And this is the case for any of the apps and you can jump across uh, to go deep into any job that matters most to you that day. And again, if you only want to see just a few pages, you can always just bookmark straight from here and it shows up in your bookmarks for the next time you log in. And for those favorite apps, you can pin them so they show right in the left bar, saving you even more clicks. Now, we know customization matters a lot to you because every click matters. So you can always customize your navigation, which apps you pin, the order of the apps and the way they show up both on your left bar in my apps, as well as in the carousel. So that's a little bit of a wrap of the biggest changes in the new navigation in QuickBooks. Um, you'll get a very good, as you start using it, you'll get, you, it's all of the functionality that has already existed, plus everything new that we launched this summer, you're gonna find it inside of the apps. If you ever have a question on where to find any page, just as a reminder, you can always go into the search bar at the top, which we made much more prominent, and you can click away from there to any page across the entire product. Now, here's the big question. When is this new experience gonna be available to you and your clients? So we have a three month rollout approach. The first month is July, which we're towards the tail end of it. And this is when this experience is available to you and your clients as an opt-in experience. As I shared earlier, you can go into settings and from there you can opt in one client at a time. Then comes August. And August is the month where we're actually rolling this out in an automated fashion to all accountant attached companies in QBO in the US. So it's gonna be over a four week period. You're gonna get an email two weeks in advance, letting you know which week of August is going to be the week where your firm will be rolled into the new experience. And when it's your turn, all of your clients will be rolled into the new experience at the same time, because we know you don't want to have some clients in different experiences, but all of them in the same at once. So that is happening in August. Now, September is our grace period month. So if at any point, during July or August, it's not the right moment for you and your firm, you can always opt out through settings for all of your clients. And you can pick the right moment in time for you to come back into the new experience. And for those that don't, by the end of September, we're bringing everyone back into the new experience so that we can keep shipping all of the enhancements and innovation that will only be available in the new experience going forward. And we want all of you to benefit from all of that. So this is the rollout. So again, just a quick reminder, July, highly encourage you to opt in at the right time for you. Prepare your clients, prepare your firm. Everyone comes into the new experience in August and September is the grace period. Now, if you wanna learn more, we have a phenomenal toolkit made for each of you to go deep that has even more screenshots and more experiences. And that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for inviting me, Jacqueline. Thank you, Rodrigo. That was fantastic. And thank you for watching. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. That's all we have for now. For more product updates and demos, check out our In the Know Hub. We'll catch you next time.